thing. Um, you got to tell me this Floyd stuff. Merriweather, who's retired. Mayweather. Mayweather, not Merriweather. Mayweather. I, I call him Merriweather. Uh, Floyd Mayweather. No, don't do that to, to his face. He'll, he'll no, punch no, you. that's different. <laughs> is uh, going to fight MMA champion Conor McGregor. And there's a question of, like, why. It's going well, to be on pay-per-view. It's going to be, who's, you know, who's, first of all, who's paying for this? Second of all, it's going to be more like a boxing match than a MMA fight. It, no, not not more like it will be a boxing match. And I'm I'm like I'm like looking. I'm like, you know, I you know I know in the our fantasy worlds that we all live in, where you know you can do fantasy baseball or fantasy football or fantasy whatever. Millions of people do that, by the way. And and I'm sure they said, well, maybe we can do this, but this, they're using real people. <laughs> um, that's it's a, it's a, an interesting way of putting it. Um, <laughs> I, I can't see this. First of all, I hate pay per view for boxing. Pay per view has destroyed boxing in the first place. But that's, I agree. That, that's something. But else. if the people want to watch a good fight, Manny Pacquiao is fighting on ESPN. I believe it's it's tonight or this weekend. Or yeah. it's coming up very soon. So check your local list. So I, I I look at this and I'm like, how are they going to do this? Obviously, it's going to be more of a boxing match than an MA. MA. No, no, it is a box. Don't okay. say more of because well, it may, it, Conor McGregor is not going to be allowed to grab. Floyd yeah, Mayweather. but will he use small gloves? You know? They're going to use boxing gloves. Okay, because it small is a gloves, boxing match. They, you know, the MMA guys use right. the small gloves I know. now. But, but they, it will be a boxing match, and that's why this whole thing is a joke. <clears throat> because Conor McGregor may be an MMA champion. He, he's, he's a very loud and brash kind of guy. But his record as a boxer is zero and zero because he has never boxed. Right. Now you're throwing him in the ring with, granted, Floyd May- Mayweather is old. He's 40. But he's still one of the greatest fighters of all time. I, I, it, there, you could make a case that Conor McGregor may go an entire round without landing a single punch on Floyd May- Mayweather. Right. Because Mayweather is the king of slipping punches. He's He's... You know, I, I watched his fight against Manny Pacquiao. That was last year. And Mayweather, the most impressive thing he does, he's not even a like he's not a big puncher. He he's just he's jabbing, he's moving. His greatest skill is that he doesn't get hit. So Conor McGregor is going to get frustrated because he's used to being able to brawl with a guy. Right, that's used, what MMA is. He's used to being able to kick somebody. Right. I mean that that to me is probably, well, I don't want to say probably, it's possibly what could end this fight. It's because, it's because Conor McGregor gets so frustrated by only being able to use his hands to punch. He can't even grab just to punch that at some point he gets so frustrated and decides to like roundhouse kick Floyd Mayweather in the head and the ref says that's a disqualification. Well, the funny thing about, I mentioned the Antonio Inoki right. Ali fight, what did Inoki do all night? He was on his, his butt kicking right. Ali's legs. Right. In fact, I heard Bob Arum talking about that fight. And he said, this, I didn't even know this. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with our, with our listeners. Apparently, that was supposed to be a wrestling type of exhibition. Yeah. And no, like, I mean, fake, completely fake. Right. Like, it was supposed to be where. Um, why do you it, think Chuck Webner got thrown out of the ring? Well, but no, Chuck Webner was doing something else in, in Chicago or something. No, he said Shea Stadium, I thought. Well, Shea Stadium, wherever, but he was somewhere Against else. Andre were, the Giant. There were, there were other bouts going on around the country. Right, Andre the Giant versus But that's Webner. what was going on. It was all staged. The only one that wasn't staged was Ali and Inoki. Right. So Inoki was kicking Ali. Apparently he had spikes on his shoes, which is why Ali's legs were getting cut up. And then when they finally noticed that the spikes were on his shoes, they made him change his shoes but then what was supposed to happen was that they were supposed to like get in the ring or, or, or um, there was going to be a point where Ali got Inoki up against the ropes and they said Inoki had, used to like have a razor blade in his mouth and he was famous for cutting himself and, and bleeding. And they said it was, that was going to happen and that Ali would tell the ref, ref, you got to stop the fight. Look at him. He's a bloody mess. And the ref was going to say, no, you know, keep fighting. And then Ali was going to turn all the way around to the ref and say, ref, you got to stop the fight. Like, you look like the humanitarian guy that he is. And that, that at that point, Inoki was going to jump on Ali's back. And then it would end. 
And then the ref would say, that's it, disqualified. And that Ali afterwards was going to say that he got Pearl Harbor. It was like oh, the second gosh. Pearl Harbor. And I'm like, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. <laughs> and I'm like, I mean, because because um, Aram said that he talked about this with Vince McMahon, yeah. of all people. Well, he was part of the show. Well, but this is what was going it's on. WWF. This, though, this fight with McGregor and Mayweather... This is for real because Conor McGregor punches people for a well, living. My, my thing is, but he also kicks people it, it, for a living. That would be kind of a, a lot more fun as a viewer who doesn't watch boxing anymore and and barely watches MMA. Is you alternate rounds? You know, first round is boxing, and then they can switch gloves, and then Mayweather you know, would never. Of course, he would never agree. To that. I know he wouldn't, but that never, that would be he'd get, he'd get killed. Well, of course, he would. It would be over in the second round. You know, you may, he'd, get, he'd get killed. Mayweather May, would get, McGregor would pick up, pick up Mayweather, slam him to the right. ground, and then we'd and say, "I've had enough of this." Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, all the pay per view people say, "Oh, wow, we got screwed again." But that's that's. I am telling anybody who is listening to this show, and 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 the listeners of this show n- absolutely should know by by now. Three years into the show, I will never steer you wrong. Do not buy this pay per view. I've never do bought, not. Buy. I have never bought. I've seen pay per view. But I've never bought pay per view. I've gone to friends' houses who were buying it, and they invited me over. And it was always wrestling. It would, you know, it, I've never seen a boxing match. Don't do it. Um, and you know, maybe a concert they have on pay per view, but I've never paid for that either because eventually they release it. Read, it's, read, read my man Keith Eidick. Read him. He's been on the show. Read him as far as the fight. Uh, he'll be. He'll, he's, he's actually going to Vegas for the fight. Oh yeah. But read him online. Do not. Do not buy this fight. And it's probably going to be like $100, too. Yeah, then that's a hundred dollars for an exhibition. Right. And one of the, the quote-unquote fighters has never boxed. Right. Has never been an official boxing match. And so, like I said, pay-per-views help destroy boxing. No one you know, cares about boxing and, anymore. And I, I understand that the Dana White guy, that MMA guy, he's like, well, the fan. I mean, he, he's like, he's worse than Vince McMahon as far as I'm concerned. But he is, he's a, a guy, well, the fans want this fight. And this fight, this fight, the only reason this fight got made is because the fans want it. The fans are stupid. No, no the fans All want right? it. The fans don't, don't know what the hell they want. It. You know, if it was just another MMA fight, then yeah. Anyway, uh, guess what I was watching uh, the other day, brother? I was watching. Cartoons? No, no. Though uh, on Boomerang, they, they show the Looney Tunes ones, which I've been, I've, I have haven't no seen idea what Boomerang is. Boomerang is one of the cable channels. That shows cartoons. There's a cartoon network, and then they started Boomerang because all the older because cartoons. Because there were so many cartoons? Well, the, all, the, like, all the older ones went to Boomerang, you know, the Jetsons and the... So the Bugs good Spark. cartoons. Yeah, all the good ones. All the ones where they would yeah, put together a cartoon to sell merchandise. Yeah, so uh, I actually watched on Saturday a horrible, messy game. Seattle Sounders versus the team that has no name, the NYCFC. Good game. And talking about messy game. It was the field was so wet that there was it, it, it rains. The, but <laughs> you know, there was no. I said to myself, "There's got to be drainage in Yankee Stadium." There's, the the field was literally like the ball would would hit the ground and not bounce. It was like, poof, and it would just like stand there. And this happens. I, I'm like, it literally, it was like a flood. It was like my bathtub well, I, I, where it doesn't drain. I don't understand why you think that that fields are somehow like made out of like Swiss cheese. No, or but something. they they have they have like dirt that that There's, absorbs the, the well. Yeah, but that's not on the field. They have regular the dirt. They have regular good dirt. Yeah, but there's there's drainage and stuff. Anyway, uh, D- David Villa is that Villa Villa David Villa. Oh, it's David. David. Okay, I call him David. Yeah, because you know, because you're you. He's my friend. Um, I know you two are tight. Yeah, so. Uh, he also said that you know he he doesn't like being on a team that has FC as their name. Uh, he didn't say that. He did. No, he didn't. He did. He really didn't. Okay. Let's not tell people that he did when he did. But let's he had not, two goals. Let's be factual. He had two goals against yes. the Seattle Sounders. Two goals is factual. You know, and um, Sounders. One, one of them was a penalty kick. Yeah, and uh, Sounders were what, league champs last year. Last year, yeah. yeah so uh, Seattle. You know, I was I was Some impressed. Dempsey's you know, a little bit watching it. Though watching the good win. The the field at Yankee Stadium is narrower, right? It's a narrower. Is it? I'd have to check. Uh, I don't know that for a fact, but it's possible because I mean they're they're obvious. They obviously seems, are limited. It, it does se- it does seem more narrow than than the normal field. But that being said, there there are allowances. You know, there, there are requirements for the field. Right. But it has to be a certain width. But the width, I believe, is between like fifty-five and sixty yards. It's not. It's not like it has to be. 
only one size. Oh, okay. Cause, so yeah. they, it, there, there are variables there. So I was watching, and, it was, you know, we have you know, we grew up playing soccer, and we, we yeah. played on, you know, one of those games where it just kept raining and raining. That's yeah. what it was on Saturday. My, fir- my first ever soccer game when I was a kid, it was it snowed. I was with you. We were on the same team. <laughs> yes. We remember we were on the same team, and, and Mr. Carrero wouldn't let us wear sweatpants. Well, that was, he said you know, we had to wear shorts. We were freezing, cause, cause running around we, our little we, shorts. We, we were little mini men. Yeah, and I don't even think we wore. I, I guess we wore sweatshirts underneath, but he yes. wouldn't let us wear sweat sweatpants. Yeah, no, because the ref wouldn't allow it. Yeah, know, that's so. that's the uniform is shorts. Yeah, which like, never really made sense to me at all. But whatever. Yeah, but um, so it was a good game. Uh, the Red Bulls. Uh, we're on the road. They won over the Philadelphia Union. At least that was they yesterday. Have a game. yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Bradley yeah. Wright Phillips got two goals. One first goal in the eighty seventh minute, and then added another one after that. So that's a good win. So a good solid win for the Red Bulls on the road. And so. uh, next week the big uh, derby happens. Uh, NYC. Darby. Good pronunciation, brother. Yeah, well, you know, I learned from my brother. Uh, the Red Bulls are facing the NYC FC. Yes. Uh, the winner will get uh, if NYC FC wins. They'll change their name to uh, uh, something else. You see, you're just going down a road that has has. I'll tell you what, brother. No I, turns, I, no I was, escape. I was. I took the train this morning because my car is in the shop. Yes. Hopefully that buzz before was from my uh, my mechanic. Uh, it was a two four two number. I don't know what it was. Oh, it was okay. Then I don't know who it was. Uh, anyway, um, I saw a guy wearing an Emirates shirt. Right. And on the side, it had an MLS patch. But I couldn't tell. Was it blue? Um, no, it was white. I think it was. White. I think that's an NYCFC shirt. I don't know. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was too. But then I said it might be the Cosmos because. Well, the Cosmos oh yeah, they're, they're also Emirates. Yeah, so, so yeah, it could have been Cosmos. So I'm like, geez, you know, th- how do I know what team that guy is rooting for? Because it says Emirates. He, he's he's promoting look, an airline. I'm, you look. That's how. I know. Anyway, we'll, you look. We've run out of time, actually. Unless uh, we got two yeah, minutes. We got like four minutes left. No, we got two minutes about? left. Well, we didn't talk at all about the NHL and the expansion draft. Well, they're draft. doing the expansion draft this Wednesday. The Ve- I hate the fact they call them the Vegas Golden Knights instead of Las Vegas Golden Knights. Well, it is what Super it is. Stupid name, too. I'm sure it's it has a gambling. Big, gold. Big well, Golden, a, I'm sure the Golden. Big on the stupid names. Golden Nugget. You know, I think of Golden in Vegas. I would right. think of the Golden Nugget. So Talk about hockey. Um, anyway, uh, the Islanders quickly protected uh, five defensemen. Johnny Boychuk, yes. Nick Letty, Travis Har- Harmonic. Hamonic. Hamonic. Uh, Ryan Pulak and Adam Pelich. Pelich. And, um, you know. The, was... And supposedly, and this is being reported by Arthur Staple over at Newsday, supposedly the Islanders have a deal in place with Las Vegas to give them a number one draft pick in exchange for them, for the Golden Knights not taking any of their players. Wow. So I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I'm assuming it is because I, you know, Arthur's a good reporter. Um, but that's, that's a hell of a deal. That's just just to not take anybody, you know, and, and the Islanders, I mean, I I got to be honest, I I probably would have left Boychuk and Letty available just because they have big contracts, and typically expansion teams won't go after players with big salaries. And, you know, I don't know if that's going to be the case this time, but, you know, a guy, uh, I expect the Golden Knights to take um, Mark andre Fleury, the, the Penguins goalie, he's available. Right. There, there, there are several very good players available. Um, and then th- this this will start off a big week for the NHL. Uh, the, uh, the 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 entry draft uh, starts on Friday, and the, the, the right. New Jersey Devils have the number one pick there. Uh, no big not, no big name player. No Connor McDavid. No uh, Austin Matthews. Uh, there's or Austin Meadows. I'm sorry. Um, no Matthews. But the Islanders get 15th. Rangers 21st. And you know we'll see we'll see what happens. But okay. big week for hockey coming that up. That just about does it for From the Press Box. I'm Rob Leonard. He's Tim Leonard. Coming up next is Big Ed and the Good Gold Show. Those oldies that have disappeared, they've come right back to Ed's show. So keep it tuned here to WHPC, WHPC HD, Garden City. Take care and goodbye and see you next week. The Yankees win 27 world titles. Johan Santana throws the first Mets no hitter. David Tyree makes a catch for the ages. Willis Reed walks out onto the garden floor. 
more great sports moments like these, be sure to tune in to all of our fantastic sports shows. From the Press Box with Rob and Tim Leonard, Monday mornings at 10. The Home Stretch with Anthony Tartamella and the WHPC Sports Staff, Tuesday evenings at 9. Sports Talk with Chris Muldoon and the WHPC Sports Staff, Thursday evenings at 9. And Beyond the Game with Jacob Valk, Brandon Johnson, and the WHPC Sports Staff, Friday afternoons at 3. All of these excellent shows and more are on the voice of Nassau Community College. 90.3 WHPC.